So I read through the things that you wrote and I'm doing this video response because you make a lot of good points and I just wanted to address a lot of it. And so here we have a video. Starting off by saying that when I made the original video you're responding to, that video is not made to change anyone's mind. That video is me angry and saying things and addressing a lot of what made me angry. This video isn't here to change anyone's mind either. I think this discourse is so huge that there is possibly nothing I can say that will change your mind and possibly nothing you will say that will change my mind and that is fine. That is how this world works. Um, I do not have enough time in the world to try and change everyone's minds. I don't even care enough about that. I do want to get all of my points across and why a lot of the comments I've been seeing, not your comments, you explain your points well, a lot of the comments I've been seeing to idols and under videos of idols piss me the fuck off. You didn't piss me the fuck off, but let's just address every all the things you're saying, which is all the things a lot of people are saying. So one, um, older generation idols um, have one to two idols who are good, and you said the backlash now is not a single person can sing properly even sitting down. I disagree with that, and so while I don't watch a lot of fourth gen idols, I do watch Imujin Service. I think his show is so good. I love it. Absolutely adore it. Um, I've seen some of these idols on Imujin Service. Some of the idols, I think, from the groups you're talking about. And they do really well. They have really nice voices. They sing really well. A lot of the idols that go on that show, right, they're the vocalists, if not main lead vocalists of the group. And I think there hasn't been one bad Imujin Service performance video whether that is to say it's a lot of editing whether to say like you know they can do it sitting down whatever that is a lot of these idols are relatively fine singers if not good singers why they like you know to a lot of people sound bad on stage that is something i don't know enough about music to go into and explain but i do think a lot of these idols idols are eight singers and like there's a standard that people are setting for what they sound like live and they're not hitting that standard maybe that is something the company needs to look into maybe it's something with training a lot of companies how do i say this sounding nice do you guys know about like boom puck boom how her voice before going to yg and after going to yg sounded very very different and some say like her singing technique got worse because yg wanted her voice to sound a certain way I'm not saying that's what's happening to these idols but there are a lot of issues that's not just they're a bad singer you know we should yell at them two so why they're not up to standard when they're performing even though i think some of them are are pretty fine singers that is not something i feel like i'm professional enough to comment on and so you your point brings up some good points like why is that two um most are the same from the same company why to being debuting before ready the issue of like why these companies are debuting some of these idols or even from your comments it seems like why are these idols themselves agreeing to debut before they're ready it could be a multitude of issues such as you know money some of it might be age the industry is not kind to older to people that are older than you know like the 2000s now the 2000s children that are coming out that could be a possible reason also the whole like they're from the same company the people who sing bad that take that up with the company and my issue, right, the whole issue is that, like, please stop yelling at these idols, or if not stop, like, and not saying you're doing this, but I've seen a lot of these very nasty, very mean comments to these idols that I don't think the idols themselves, like, you know, can help a lot of these issues. Whether they say, like, hey, I want to sit out of my schedule to go to lessons, I don't know if they can do that, and I don't know if you know, trying to yell at them is the most, is the best choice in the situation. Maybe, you know, mass email the company, go try to get to the company if you think it is a one company issue. But also, even this one company issue, it's not, it's also not new. I don't know if, if you know specifically, back in the day, there's this whole joke about SM, right? If you want to get into SM, it's 75% about looks and 25% about talent. If you want to get into JYP, it's 50% looks and 50% talent. If you want to get into YG, it's 75% talent and 25% looks. And that was like the whole joke of how like, you know, SM idols are really pretty, but not as talented compared to the other two, but the other two companies don't have as pretty people. I, I know now with the dynamic, that's probably not the saying anymore, but that was the saying back in the day. <laughs> um, yeah, a company problem. Please don't yell at the idols, go to the company. Um, attitude. I, again, 
I think I know what you're referring to about the attitude, but I also have seen some other idols, right, that have actually apologized for not sounding up to standard during, um, what is it, the, at, at the end, when they win music shows, when they do their encore stages, I've seen those apologies, <laughs> and also, I don't know how much you want them to publicly say because Taemin's thing about him like practicing until he had nosebleeds he said he said that afterwards after he practiced after he like had those nosebleeds he didn't tell anyone during the time so I don't know if you want them to say like hey I'm gonna go practice until late like you know I'm gonna go practice now I'm gonna do that now like I've seen them apologize for not sounding good so I, and again, not all of it. I think I know what you're referring to and I will go read what she wrote myself just to see. And I might get back to you on that. Um, Taman, I brought up because that is what those comments did to him. That is how far those comments pushed him, you know, to try and, you know, he, his mindset of, I need to be better. I need to be best. I need to improve. I need to improve. I need to improve to get lines. I need to improve to sound good. You know, I need to, improve compared to the the shiny members and i just don't i appreciate how far Taman went i don't want anyone to have to go through what he did to get to where he is now and i like how much that had affected him how much that affected him mentally how much that affected his health and how much how much like these negative comments can affect an idol's health and I just don't wish that upon anyone, especially with how young a lot of these idols are. And that that is just me, and that is how I view um, these idols. If they do something, like, I think it's completely morally wrong, okay, you know what, go at them, like, you know, say what you want to say to them. But this, a lot of times, like, yelling at them does nothing. And in fact, like, if you want to, like, say nice words about how, like, how I wish you would get better... Or if you want to go to the company, you know, you do that. I just don't like seeing these sort of, like, almost now we're getting to personal attacks on these idols, on these humans. Um, you saying this being an industry problem. Okay, we are consumers in this industry, right? A lot of us that are currently talking about this, of course, we are consumers. Consumers can show they're wanting to change the industry in a couple of ways so if this is an industry problem go support good singers right throw your money at good singers support them support the ones you think that are good singers and the industry will see a change and will head to a certain direction a lot of why companies debut who they debut or whatever genre they debut is they look at what the industry currently wants how the industry like you know how to make money companies want to make money so if everyone like puts an effort to be like, okay, from now on, we're only supporting good singers, then you guys go do that. If that is how you want to change this industry, go. Putting comments, and I'm not saying you're doing that, but it, this is part of the reason I'm talking about it. Putting comments on under these videos of like extremely nasty and mean things doesn't change the industry. Like if you want to do this mass protest, you know, you want to, like, you want industry standard, you want something like that. There are other ways of doing that that are more productive than just yelling at idols. Um, you ma We used to do mask, like, emailing of a company. That used to be a big thing in terms of protesting. Um, supporting, you know, who you think are better singers, making them go viral for singing abilities. Or not just singing abilities, whatever, whatever ability, like, you want to see, like, better or more of, go for that and change the industry that way. But the current discourse of just, they're bad singers, they're bad singers, they can't sing. And then that being the end of the conversation really doesn't do much and is hurting more than it is like helping. We are consumers in the industry, but everyone, I mean, even me now, like making this video, are acting like we're experts and we're not experts. We are consumers. So let's, you know, how do consumers change the industry?